Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with something that I plan to do quite often, um, like lots of things in my life, but <laughs> it doesn't happen. Um, I wanted to share with you the projects, all of the projects, I think, that I have made with the new Rosie Studio Work of Heart collection. And I have, we're in lockdown, it feels like we've been in lockdown for about hundred years for me um at least but I think we've been in lockdown seven seven and a half weeks um and I've just been struggling to create or craft also I seem to just get to the end of the day after I finish work and it's dark and I've forgotten to take photos yet again so I thought it's the weekend and um I will take a little video of all of these projects I've had before I send some off and um put them away so here is an overview of all the products products projects that I've made um, and I just thought that I would um, do a quick share so let me move them off to the side and I'll just show you them all one at a time I'll try and find some room okay I might show you the um, scrapbook little mini scrapbook so i have this little rosie studio six by six album and i'm not much of a scrapbooker but i am attempting to do like a layout with each collection but um i might need to zoom you in on this because it's quite mini let's try that okay um as you've seen i um get lots of pictures of my little niece peachy and um um these are, I use her as the <laughs> subject of a lot of my layouts because my kids are getting older and not always super keen to be photographed. So let me show you this. I've done lots of rainbow projects as you'll see and I did this little nine three by three grid. I'm using different colours, papers in the collection and then like sort of just picking a couple of embellishments to layer on each one. So Here's the red one. I've um, done a little red flower and a little have fun banner. I'll just go over each one. But I just use different, um, like this is one of the chipboard stickers. Um, I've laid up a little um, sticker from the sticker pack. This is a little puppy sticker. This little um, planet was cut out. So I really love how that's done I just stitched them all and then stuck them in a little grid so that is my first project let's try zooming back out I'm not fancy here I just have my phone um I um made this and I have actually shared it it was for um a little acetate project that I did in a um a challenge with Alicia and Neil and I just made this really cute little um, case for a little tiny mini sequins kit so I picked some little sequin mixes for each of the colors in this collection which I made at the start and I've just put a little bit of each one and then I made this little sleeve and I used these little create paint swatches which were in the die cut pack they fit on there perfectly so I love how that turned out then I have shared these but I made um these are really cute i love them i got these little envelope things like from a vintage shop years ago and so i just trimmed them down a little bit because they were quite tall um to make them the right size to fit these cute little library card things in so these are the project life cards and they're all different sort of grid library card styles i used the polka black and white polka dot and the black and white alphabet paper on the front and did some stitching and then made a little cluster so i just kind of do my crafting in lots of batches so the same sort of thing but a bit different on each one so I did the little puppy heart and the tiny words and then I did the couple of flowers and a little sticker here with another little heart and they all have another little heart on the bottom there so they're really cute little flat nail little goodie pockets um, that you can add to your projects then this I absolutely love this I made this pretty much as soon as I got the collection I love this colored pencil paper that has all these like words on it unique brilliant incredible blessed artistic talented um, with the little gold foil so I made a little envelope 
book um, and I cannot remember the tutorial that originally inspired this. I've made a few of them so I just sort of made it by memory but it's got these little um, hinges in the back and I've just stuck all the envelopes on there. So I made um, an acetate cover with the little um, sequins in there. I put the little cut apart, um, die cut of the board and then just put crafty on there and each one is um, a different colour. So there's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, rainbow. But in each one I've made a little envelope using Satira 18's tutorial to make these little envelopes and I've put a little sequin mix and then a few little red goodies. So put the scissors, the clipboard, the cherries, there's a puffy strawberry. So I just went through and picked all the different red things I could from the packs. Oh, I was going to put the sequins on the front. And then I've got a little um, vellum circle there. So um, that looks super cute. And then I've just put a plain Project Life card behind it. And it's pretty simple. That's what's in each one. So this has got some peach project life cards I think I had the rainbow because there was no red ones but this one's got peach and then a little peach sequin mix and then some peachy orangey goodies from the collection so I think that's just a really cute way you don't want the things to be too bulky so you can't really fit that much in each envelope and I won't probably don't think I need to open them all but you know here's some, some yellow project life cards and a little yellow bunch of goodies and oh this one's got some little um the alphabet stickers and some more greens you know etc etc so each one's just filled with some goodies but they are just stuck down with those stickers so I have to be really careful and blue ones and etc anyway I won't go through them there's navy and then the purple as well so I love how this is um came together I'm a little bit disappointed because when I tried to <laughs> measure I did I'm um, off a little bit so that's a little bit bigger at the back than it is at the front but really who cares it looks so cool so there is that um, I have shared some pictures of this little pass book I made inspired by Tennille's recent tutorial um so i've done the rainbows down the front of paper so i've just there was definitely like some really cool pattern paper but there's some really cool solid papers as well so i just tore those and sort of ruffled them up a little bit i've made some of those flowers on the front these are all some of this like some of these are die cuts and some of these like this one's a sticker stuck on some white paper and then i just trimmed down a project life card for the front then we have got this so it's got two little pockets at the front oh sorry whoever this goes to it's ripped it um and i use some of these cute little puffy stickers so this one says goodies and this one says treats and i'll pop some little goodies in there this middle bit is a sequin shaker and i use this polka dot frame from the die cut pack and laid up some little bits and pieces and then you flip it over and I mirrored basically the same thing that I did here on here because you can see through it and then on the back here I put this little um, corner sleeve thing here so I can stick a little goodie in the back um, yeah whatever you want that can just fit in there it keeps it quite flat and I really love that project too oh here's the little teeny tiny pocket letter that I made I just used a three by four project life sleeve and then chopped it down into little tiny bits which I think are one by one and a half inches and I just used the same basically the same nine papers over and over and over again in these projects um, and then just did the monochromatic picked little thing to go on the top and then I cut out some of these little tiny word stickers and they say you're an original and it's got the um, rainbow word there and then I put a couple little sentiments on the side so I love how that one turned out I'm gonna keep saying I love it obviously I like how it turned out so I probably want to share it Um, I made a couple of just little mini cards using these little envelopes and I just wanted to share like these cards are so simple I just cut down some paper don't even think I cut it straight um, and, and I then I used some of this really cool rainbow paper for, from the collection 
to make like almost like a Polaroid style, you know, so it's got a thicker band down the bottom. I just stuck a sentiment from the die cuts on there on a little bit of foam tape and then put a little tiny word sticker. So this one says, you can never have too much happy. And this one says, sprinkle it everywhere. And then I've just made these little envelopes with a die that I have, which I think, I think it's a Concord and Ninth die. It's just, I saw a tutorial for it, absolutely loved it. I will find that if I can. And because I've got to get this out because it is a part of a swap um, and it's like this little teeny tiny mini um, tag flip I made and I just need to zoom in because it is so tiny. See, okay, so I picked some little different elements from this. I've got a tiny little ring. I put a little bow on a ring and then these two little gorgeous charms from Love Pink Dragonflies, these wee wire wrap beads. And then I just embellished a whole lot of little teeny bits from the collection and some tags. So this little paint palette is just one of the die cuts and I popped these little foam um, paint spotches that are on the little foam stickers on there to make it a bit dimensional. I made a tiny tag and then popped these little paint tubes on there. I just trimmed down one, oh this might have actually been a tag, but one of the die cuts. This cute little backpack, I just popped a wee hole in there and it just says all these pretty, all the pretty things. Um, I made one of the chipboard stickers into a wee tag and popped this cute little girl with blue hair on there. And it just says be you. This is the little red clipboard and I added this um, cherry sticker and just put more joy. I made the scissors into a charm. Love who you are with the little puffy sticker put an awesome, this little dancing girl with some puppy stickers, popped a hole in this little chipboard, have a very wonderful day, nice is the new cool, smile sparkle shine. So I just um, got all the tiny little bits and pieces from the collection and just popped a hole in them and made this really cute little tag, life is what you create, yes in the washi tape, cute little lemonade stand and love who you are which is I think this was one of the Project Life cards that I've chopped down. Anyway, I love how that turned out. It is so teeny tiny. And I made this cute little um, lolly wrapper bag thing for this one. So I will pop that in there to send it off to my pen pal friend. And then I've got another piece of this paper and I'll just sew that shut up the top. And lastly, but not least, I... Zoom out a little bit. Um, I've got this little embellished project, no, embellished traveler's notebook following the tutorial from the amazing D over at Daily D on her Patreon. Um, she's done tutorials for these and I made this mini one using this collection and it's so cute. I haven't actually finished it yet, but I thought if I wait till I finish, I may never show it to you. So. I need to put a little title on the front, but I actually really like how it is plain and I could just send this out and my, um, whoever I send it to could embellish the front. But I've made lots of little pockets and I just need a piece of, sorry, I just need to find a little tag to put, blah, 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 blah. oh here, hang on, I'll use one of these. So there is a pocket here and I've just decorated that with some flowers, little bits of embellishments. I've made a pocket here um, and just use that one there. This one here has a pocket already and a little um, Project Life card in there. There's another pocket over here. So there's lots of pockets. This would be such a cute way to send some happy mail and some goodies off to someone. This one's just plain so it could be used as like a little mini album. Pop. Um, you could stick a packet of goodies there or you could put a photo there. Then this over here, I've just stuck a little sticker on one of these cards. And here is another Project Life card. And that's just like a double pocket. I used pretty yellow string to tie that, um, stitch this together. This here, I just embellished by putting this down the middle. There's a little project, no, there's not, <laughs> not a pocket. I made a little library pocket here for this gorgeous, I love these library cards. I'm very glad I'm sharing them because I could just hoard them all. They're so cute. But I just, all the papers in this collection go together. They're so fun and bright and crazy. Oh, whoops, I just about forgot this back page. Um, 
this one's just plain this one's got a little embellishment cluster over here and um that's it that's a lot of talking for me i'm not used to talking so much so i just wanted to share all these projects with you um i have actually got um a video of this full collection so i'll upload that onto my channel too because i don't think i've actually done that yet so i will upload that first and then I'll upload this one so you can see all the amazing things in this collection from Rosie Studio and you can maybe order some and make some of these fun rainbowy projects for yourself. Okay guys thanks for watching I'll see you soon bye!